Aloha and welcome to The Joy of Crafting, brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts. And you know, we're getting ready for graduation because graduations are pretty early this year. So we have a special guest. We have Lisa Liu all the way from Enchanted Lake Ben Franklin and she has a really great project. Hi Lisa, oh cute. I, I know, um, <laughs> this isn't actually the final project, but I, um, you know, people are always left with like 10 million eight by 10 graduation pictures. Right. Um, I don't know what I did with mine, but <laughs> I, I tried to come up with an idea that people could do with theirs. What I did is I started by painting the board, um, just using regular acrylic paint. This is mm -hmm. a foam core board. Mm -hmm. um, and make sure you paint both sides because it is a two-sided sign. Okay. <laughs> and then when that's all dry, um, I have another one here that we're actually going to work with. Oh, okay. I wrote down my measurements so that, you know, I, I mm -hmm. wouldn't get lost. Um, so <laughs> when you're measuring, I started to measure from this way first. Um, mm -hmm. This is the 30 inch side. The board is 20 by 30. Okay. So from the 30 inch side, I measured um, seven and a half and then 22 and a half. You can just use a tape measure or yardstick or whatever. So seven and a half inches in on each side. No, I just put the ruler down and I went seven and a half and then 22 and a half. Okay. okay. And then turned it the other way. And for the 20 inch side, this is 20 inches, we went three and three quarters and 16 and a quarter. So okay. it took me a little while <laughs> to figure that out, but I eventually got it. Okay. So then you can just use an X-Acto knife, but you have to make sure it's really sharp because oh, mm -hmm. foam it, it'll be jagged if you use a junk blade. <laughs> so just um, shove it in and you don't have to be like perfect. You can use a straight edge if you want uh -huh. to cut, but you can follow and, your I mean, line. Yeah, you have a line there, so you can follow your line. Gonna go all the way. And your initial cut is just scoring the blade, so sometimes you might notice that it might not catch all the way through to the mm -hmm. other side, so you may have to do a few runs. Okay. Okay. So. So you're just gonna cut out that center? Yep. And if the knife is, um, if the blade is sharp, it helps it to cut faster yeah. and faster, smoother. Faster, smoother. I know, I've been <laughs> wanting to make this sign for like a couple years, but I never did it. And then I made it for the store last year and mm -hmm. people really liked it. That's so. great because everybody's always looking for some different way to stand out. I know, everybody wants to be different. <laughs> and I mean, keep in mind too, I just, I, I used, um, I, because I like to be different. I use like green and blue, but you can go with the school colors. You don't have mm -hmm. to keep with the school you don't colors have to be completely or their different. favorite colors favorite or their colors. class colors. I know some of the things that you see at the graduations, it's very amazing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a whole production. I know. <laughs> okay, so then I'm just going to push this out because uh -huh. we're pretty much through. If you catch any resistance, oh, my blade slipped out, <laughs> but push it through. And then you got your hole. Okay. That wasn't too hard. It wasn't too hard, right? Nope. So another cool thing we have at the stores is we have an AccuCut machine, which is a, a die cutting machine. Mm -hmm. And it's able to cut out like letters, shapes, um, anything you want. And all the stores do the or their own ordering. So we all have different stuff, which is really cool. So you can check out all the stores. So I'm going to use, um, I use this really cool glitter paper from Doodlebug. Mm -hmm. um, and what I found is because I sometimes layer things, my usually my first choice of adhesive is double stick tape, but some because it's glittery, it's not gonna stick to the oh, glitter. Okay. So I'm using um, Tombo uh, oh, adhesive. The aqua? Yep. Aqua glue. And okay. this is a permanent adhesive. Okay. So we're just gonna put some glue on it. And I like to stagger my letters. It's up to you. Me too, because I can't go straight. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so I just stagger all the letters. And then again, keep in mind, because it is a double-sided sign, you have to cut enough things to decorate the other side. Oh, OK. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So the AccuCut machine, if they purchase the paper at the store, they can use the machine, right? For free. For free. Yep. And That's it's really easy to use, really super easy. Mm -hmm. That's great, cause I know, yeah, the I know the different stores. Some of them have like small ones, and mm -hmm. some have really large letters and different fonts and yep. things like that. At our store, I'm using a three-inch letter. We also have a four-inch, which I'm gonna show today. 
the good thing about this glue, like I did, is I went too far over, so it doesn't <laughs> so dry you can still, right away. Uh -huh. you, can still, you can still move it and around. And that's also why I stagger the letters, too, in uh -huh. case I run out of space. <laughs> <laughs> It'll still get to fit. And if you hang off this sign, that's okay, too. Just, I, I just like, like the an look element. Of, yeah, I yeah. like the look of things being off the sign like that. Great. Okay. So for the center portion, because mm -hmm. I like to hang things off the middle, and this is why I use the the um, tombow instead of a double-sided tape, mm -hmm. because when I layer things, let's see, let's go here. It'll stick. Okay. Does it dry pretty fast? It dries pretty quick. Um, you still have that time to move it around. You still do have that time to move it around, but yeah, it dries pretty quick. So I just layer different things. It's very and colorful. Then you can, yeah, you can go all the way around the board if you want. I cut out my own name, <laughs> you know? Okay. And so <laughs> you could put the person's name, you could put graduate, um, you could do whatever you want. It's it's. Pretty easy. Because this is a good idea for all kind of different things. Yeah, not it's not necessarily just graduation. for graduation, but you could do it for birthdays or duals. Or like, you know, a lot of times when um, the wives and family are welcoming mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. somebody from, mm -hmm. you know, yep. tour duty, they have they have all their signs yep. and stuff. This yep. would be very eye-catching. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to let that one dry. So okay. I'm going to bring out my blue one again. Okay. This one's Let already me... dry. Yep, you oh, can move that on the side. So, like I said, I don't know what I did with my graduation pictures, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> that would be We're a gonna picture. pretend these are pictures, okay? Okay. I'm gonna take uh, a T pin or two T pins. You mm -hmm. can get these at the store also, shaped like a T. Probably why they're called T pins. <laughs> and some suji or fishing line. You can find okay. this in the bead department. Okay. So I'm just gonna measure some out here, and we like to use this because it's clear, because then you can't see mm -hmm. any strings. And I just do a little quick measure. Take my scissors here, cut it. And then so it's like what a double? I do, yeah, because you're gonna kind of, so you're, you can just tie a knot around the T-pin. So you tie, like that's in the middle. Yep, yeah, right right where the T The middle of the string. Oh yeah, about the middle of the string. Okay. Okay, and then you're just gonna shove it in the top. Move this down. Oh, foam core. Yep. Yeah, you can do that's that. That's why we use foam core. <laughs> I love foam core. Okay, make sure it's in there good and tight. Mm -hmm. And then, we're gonna take our pictures. You're gonna put one picture down. So if you're, make sure your picture would be face down for this okay. one. Okay. We don't wanna glue the faces together. Okay, right side down, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this Tombow glue has two sides and it's got oh. a fat side. Earlier I was using the, like a pen tip side. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna put some glue cause we're gonna stick our two pictures together. Okay. So the string will be caught in the middle. Mm -hmm. And so that's the right side of the picture. Yep, this would be face up. Because <laughs> we don't want to glue the faces together. Okay, then we're gonna take our other T-pin. For this part, this one's a little bit more tricky since it's the bottom one. Okay. So I just like to shove the pin in, First. in between the strings, uh -huh. and then I'll take it and I'll tie a knot. Oh, okay. That way you don't have to figure out like, did I put it in the right spot or am I making it too loose or too <laughs> tight? It's not gonna fit. Okay, and I just tie a couple of knots. If you want to, um, so that you make sure that it's extra secure, you can put a little bit of glue on the T-pin oh. before you stick mm -hmm. it in, mm -hmm. and that way you're gonna be sure that it's not gonna come out. Mm -hmm. Just tie a few knots. Good to go. Yep, trim this off, and you're done. Graduation spinner sign. <laughs> Once your glue dries, it'll spin. It spins. Yeah.
Yeah, which <laughs> is kind of cool. Yeah, and that'll so, catch the attention of the people. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. And it'll be something different. Well, I know you do a lot of crafts, especially stuff with paper. I love paper. Yeah. I do. So you want to come back another time and show us something else? Sure. Great. I'll be back. Well, thank you, Lisa. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. <laughs>